What if you could race with double cash mode on? How easy do you think races could become? Well, that's exactly what we're going to figure out in today's modded video. So, as you guys can see, uh, this race isn't like isn't how you guys are used to seeing races. Uh, the round, the actual round number that I'm sending is uh seen at the top right hand corner rather than the normal big number, and the number on the right that is number in seconds. So we're going to try out some recent races uh, by using the race mod, and we're going to see what happens or what kind of strategies you can come up with if we try to turn on double cash mode. So let's start with the latest, most recent race, the Abyssal Plane. Now, uh, the top strategies, uh, if I'm not wrong, requires the start of a 301, 310 Dark Monkey, but not anymore. There are a lot more different strategies that you could go for now. For instance, well, I was going to say Glaive Ricochet, but uh, we, we are close to following that. How about a Druid of the Jungle? Hmm? I think that would work pretty well. So. Let's see how fast, or rather how far we can go with just three of the jungle. So we're going to send around 15. And uh, I was popping quite a lot of balloons already. That's a shocker. And let's set this fella to close. And we're going to get cluster bombs along with a heavy bombs. And let's send around 39 because we can. And uh, now we need to have some camo detection. So uh, let's do that and get some recursive cluster at the same time. And uh, let's, you know, pop us. Oh, we're dead already. Okay, fantastic. But uh, this is actually pretty uh, good because this means we could start with Druid of the Jungle and it's, it's actually pretty darn powerful. So let's try this again, right? We're going to send all the way to round 15 this time and we're going to get Recursive Cluster again. So actually let's send round 19. I'm going to place a Bomb Shooter right here, set this fair to close. I want to get Cluster Bombs and I'm going to send round 27. Uh, let's get Hard Taunts just so that this fair can pop lead balloons. And now we can send to round 39. I want to get recursive cluster as soon as I can. There we go. And now to help pop lead balloons, we're going to get embrittlement. And now we can full send to round 60. Voila, wow. Full sending when we're just 30 seconds into the race. That is um really unheard of. Okay, not really unheard of, it's just a uh, really dumb. But damn, and look at this, I can't even afford an ultra juggernaut. Because thanks to this double cash. Like it's it is really overpowered. If if it hasn't been obvious enough. So let's go ahead and actually finish this race proper and see what timing we will end up getting. Now, um, let's actually get a proper clean up here. Uh, Elite Defender with large caliber, I think that works fine. Uh, we shouldn't die, at least I don't think so. Um, let's see. You know what? We can actually go for Spectre, which is pretty interesting. And, and uh, we have the wizard here, don't we? Oh, I didn't even get the wizard, uh, which is what I used in my race tutorial. So let's go ahead and grab Arcane Spike. Uh, we don't need this house at the end. And you can sell. Okay, I was going to sell this fella for an Arc Mage. But look at this 82 seconds. That is 1 minute and 22 seconds. And for reference, if you look at the actual race leaderboard for the actual race, that already nets us first place. So yeah. Um, if, if there's one takeaway that you want to take away from this video, that is double cash is way too overpowered and that's why it's banned in all races. But that's just the latest race. How about some other races? How about this? Using the middle three of Bantage, on middle of the world where it's all middle path powers. Well, let's give it a shot. Now normally I would have started with the middle path blade shooter like I did in my race tutorial. But guess what? We can start with a druid. Again, oh, actually we can't, because uh, this is medium difficulty, not easy, so there's a slight difference there, and we need to adapt our strategy accordingly, but it's not too difficult regardless. See, the thing is, we can still go for a 2-3-0 blade shooter immediately, rather than having to save up for a blade shooter like we normally would have to, so uh, I'm not sure how well this will go, uh, I let alone uh, me remembering what the strategy I used was, but uh, we'll see how how this goes. I'll send, I'll send immediately to round 18 now and uh, let's go ahead and get a middle path druid of the jungle. Let's send to round 21 since we can. There we go and let's send to round 32 and oh my god we look at the cash. We are gaining a lot of money really quickly. Now keep in mind double cash doesn't only grant, grant you the cash, uh, double the amount of cash from the start of the round. It grants you double the amount of cash 
throughout the entire game and that's why it's so insanely overpowered so let's go ahead and send on 51 uh we don't need this fella anymore actually i think we can full send to round 70 because we already have two uh blade shooters so let's go ahead and get this and this let's activate the first ability uh, assuming I don't die. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like I did die, so uh, that's a slight problem, but not to worry. Mm, we just need to be a little bit slower. But let's try this again. We're going to get a Blade Shooter again, and we're going to get our Freed Up Monkey again. And we're going to rebuy our Druid Vial out here. Let's get a Druid Jungle. Send around 32. Let's get a second Druid Jungle because it's pretty much overpowered, and we can send to round 39. Let's go ahead and grab our ace right here, get a bomber ace and lots more darts. And uh, let's see what else we can do. Uh, oh yeah, we can grab a second tag shooter in the meantime. So let's go ahead and do just that. And we somehow still die. Okay, attempt number three. Again, we're going to get a blade shooter. Let's send to round 18. Sure. And, uh, oops, uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a druid again. Let's send to round 27. And let's actually get a second druid before we send to round uh, 36. So now I want to rebuy the ace. This time get bomber ace before I send to round 39. And uh, I want to go ahead and grab myself the blade maelstrom again for both of them. Okay, so now I think it's safe for us to full send. So let's go ahead and full send to round 70. Yes, we're going to full send to round 70. And we can use the first Blade Millstrom ability. And this will grant us a lot of cash thanks to the fact that there's double cash mode. And now let's use the second Millstrom ability and upgrade this fella to Super Millstrom while also getting Radar Scanner and Jungle Drums. Okay, and now we can actually. Wow, we can even get a Ground Zero. In the actual race one, we had to uh, sell our uh, Millstrom for Ground Zero. But I guess not. And we can actually afford a pirate lord, god damn. Uh, as if this isn't overpowered enough. Let's nuke this fella. This nuke this place. And we can get a sub bomber as well. Ooh. Oh, okay. This ought to be fun. Let's get another monkey pirates as well. What happens if we nuke this place again? Like for just for the BFPs alone. Voila! Goodbye. Okay, so now we have completed two races with double cash and they are both 45. I mean, look at this. This is a sub two minute one. Um, I'm pretty sure I, I don't remember this race being a sub two minute one. It could be, but I'm pretty sure it's not a sub two minute one. So yeah, once again, very overpowered. How about Quickity Cracks? This is a pretty fun race all in all. So let's give this a shot. I don't remember what the starting strategy was. I think it was Soda plus a tag shooter. But uh, regardless, we have enough to buy a blade shooter immediately, so none of this even matters. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to play this like a normal race. Let's try to send to round 15 since we already have a blade shooter on our hands. And I think we can send to round 22 and we can use Sora's ability right here and this will actually cut through the balloons on both the left and the right hand side of the track which make this immensely useful and actually you know what, I'm pretty sure we have enough money to get a ring of fire right now. Well close enough money by the time I uh, did that. Anyway, as for camo detection, uh, oh, uh, actually, I, this isn't, this, oh yeah, the ice is tower is, re is restricted, oops. It's been a long time since I played these races that I kind of forgotten the rule sets most of the time, but non nonetheless, uh, all I remember is that it's a Spirit of the Forest race. So let's go ahead and try this again. So I'm going to get a Blade Shooter and we're going to send to round 15 immediately. And not to mention we're going to upgrade this fella as soon as we can. Uh, now this this blue pesky blue balloon leak, so unfortunately we can't use Sora's ability. Otherwise it's going to uh, slice this blue balloon instead of the other balloons that actually needs to be sliced. So that's a shame. But you know what? We can sell this fella now. And in exchange we get the Ring of Fire. And this allows us to full send, or actually not full send, but send to round 39 pretty goddamn early. Now in the meantime we're going to grab ourselves a cannon ship and I'm going to send to round 50. There we go. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, we can also grab Jungle's Bounty and we are going to grab a Radar Scanner as well. Let's send to around 55, around 62. Oh yeah, and then we can sell, we have to sell this fella for Super Maelstrom. 
which uh, we're just going to go directly to Super Maelstrom instead of uh, doing Maelstrom and then upgrading to Super Maelstrom in the middle cause why not? We already went so far, so look at this. Uh, anyway, can we get Spear of the Force before Maelstrom is over? Yes, we can. Okay, fantastic. So now let's sell this fella. We can actually get Pirate Lord even though we don't need to. Um, ooh, actually, you know what would be fun? Uh, if we can get a Way of Doom, or I'll save up for a Way of Doom. Because that would be a pretty neat way to end this race. I mean, it's, it's definitely possible given that it's double cash, but man, that would be really cool, won't it? Like, let, let's see if we can even get a Way of Doom without uh, selling anything else. Actually, I think we can. Of course, we're falling in, and there we go, Way of Doom. And we have this is a pretty fast and easy way to end this race at, I think, 2 minutes and 30 seconds, which is definitely way faster than, uh, you know, with. Definitely way faster than what I did. I'm pretty sure I finished this, uh, the easy tutorial in uh, 3 minutes 50 seconds. This is 2 minutes and 39 seconds. Uh, I'm pretty sure my actual timing for this race was uh, 2 minutes 50, I think. Uh, this. This is one of the races where I got top 50 in, uh, but I don't even remember what time I got, so, yep. So all in all, these races are pretty fun to do in double cash mode. Are they overpowered? Heck yeah. If they were allowed in races, then racing would just become a pay to win game mode. And for once, I'm glad that Ninja Kiwi actually decided to ban double cash from uh, racing. Actually, I'm pretty sure we're all glad that they did it since they won, but either way, uh, It'll be pretty fun to actually uh, be able to play with double cash, maybe in some races, not all, but maybe to, I don't know, level the playing field. If only if only you could make it as a challenge modifier, like, you know, uh, half cash towers or double income from pops, something like that. Uh, this regarding all the easy, medium or hard difficulty rule sets, uh, this will make for some pretty interesting challenges, let alone races, but that aside, uh, yeah, it's been pretty fun to race with double cash, but yeah, this goes to show that good thing that they disabled uh, double cash in races because damn, is it too OP? And also, this makes getting the 3 minute race achievement way too easy. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like if you like this video, leave a comment if you have anything else to add, and I'll see you guys in the next video.